All right, we're back. Now we are with two digit quotients. Remember quotients at the top, outside of the house are our divisors, inside are, are our dividends. The steps, remember we divide, then we multiply, Practice makes perfect with division. Then we subtract. Then we bring down. It doesn't look like down. Then we repeat. Okay, here we go. Step one. Can I put 21 into six houses? Nope, cannot. Can I fit 21 into 68? Yes, I can. Now, for those of you who get stuck on why is it a no, if outside of the house is bigger than the number inside of the house, it will not work. I had that covered. So my inside of the house, there we go, is a six. 21 is way bigger than six, greater than six. So that's why we're saying no. But now if we just cover up the uh, four at the end, can I put 21 into 68 pieces? Yes, I can. But how many times? So remember, we're going to keep it there because we might need it later. Start with five, but I know that's way too big. Five times one is five. Five times two is 10. If I only need 68, let's try two and see what we get. 21 times two is 42. Mm, I'm not sure. 21 times three is Three times one is three. I went backwards, I shouldn't have done that. Three times two is six. Now that's pretty close. Multiply, 21 times three is 63. The next step is to subtract. When I subtract, eight minus three is five. I'm going to bring down one number at a time, but we only have one to bring down. The four. Yes? Let's see. We now have to put 21 into 54 pieces. Hmm. We did two and we did three. It falls in between, so who would I choose? I would choose the two. You see why this helps to have it on your paper? You end up doing less work. We know that 21 times 2 is 42. It seems like a lot at first, but I promise it'll help in the end. Then we subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 12. So then sometimes people worry. Well, why am I getting a remainder of 12? If you look here, if ever your remainder is greater than your divisor, you are wrong. So let's just pretend for some strange reason we got 28. I would look here and say, wait a minute, something went wrong in my dividing. Because the divisor should be the largest thing compared to your remainder. So our remainder was 12, so that works. With this problem, we'll do our checking method. Because remember, you can always check your work. I'm gonna put my remainder up at the top. We have our remainder, that's supposed to be our like a little 12. Remainder of 12. Let me separate that so it makes more sense. Okay.
13. Start with one of them. Can I put 13 evenly into one piece? No. This one's pretty nice. 13, 18. It's only going to fit one time. Uh, 13 times 1 is 13. Now I'm subtracting. 8 minus 3 is 5. I'm going to bring down the 9. Now we need to figure out how many times will 13 fit into 59. Back to multiplying. 13 here, times 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. We were close, but we're a little too big. Drop it down 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 more is 5. 52. That looks pretty nice. So we are using this number. 4 will go up at the top. 13 times 4, we already know, is 52. So now we subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7. 5 minus 5 is 0. So we know we have 14 remainder of 7. Now to check yourself. Let me erase this so I have room. So check yourself, you do the opposite. If this is division, we are now going to do what? Look at that little X right there, that's a hint. Multiply, so to check, we are going to take our answer. Not the remainder yet, just your, your two whole numbers before the remainder. We're gonna multiply 13 times 14. 13 times 14. 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. What you should notice is, well I'll show you in the end, we are done with the 4. So I'm going to put a placeholder 0 in its place. 3 times 1 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1. I should have one number sticking out by itself since I had a placeholder zero, so everything is looking mighty good here. Oh, let's go back to blue. We're going to add this up to um, eight, one. Are we done? No, we're not. You see this little remainder here? I still have to take my remainder and add it to my answer. 7 plus 2 is 9, 8, 1. We are good because this one right here matches me. I'm going to show you another connection. Remember these are called partial products, yes? You should find your partial products somewhere over here. Here's 52. Here's 52. Here's 13. Here's 13. Remember, this is a placeholder zero. But remember, we could also put a placeholder zero here. Yes. Because we brought down that nine. You see how that works out? They're cousins. Pretty cool. All right. Of course, there are some for you. I would never forget about you guys. For you. Do 918 divided by 35. 
539 divided by 42. And 289 divided by 23. Alright, we have one more. We will do one digit quotients. Remember, divisors, 23, 42, and 35 are my divisors. 918 inside of the house, 539 inside of the house, 289 are my dividends. Answers that go to the top are my quotients. Alright, good job boys and girls.